Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in the greatest muscle car show on the planet, the Muscle Car and Corvette National. I met Bob. Bob, what's your last name? Dunahill. Bob's got a great car. Bob, what year make and model is this one? This is a 66 uh, Yanko Stinger. How many of these did they make? They made one red one that was uh, custom done at Yanko Chevrolet. <laughs> this is it. One red one. In 66. In 66. So let's go right to our featured attraction and see the only red one. Now come along with me, Bob. You've got how many of these cars? How many Yanko Stingers? I have number 99, which is one of the first 100 66 Stingers. Then I have this one. And then uh, a 67 Yanko Stinger. There's still, there's four left. There are 11 built. And then uh, I have what's called the Yanko Stinger um, Goodyear test car. How Those Ford uh, had to have Chevrolet build it to do tire testing from 130 to 140, because Ford couldn't do it. Got it. And how did you acquire this one? When have you had it since? Uh, I've had this one about 22 years. Uh, just really haven't done much with it. And this is all year. this is all stock. This isn't restored, correct? No, it, it's been repainted. Oh, it's been repainted. Okay. And um, like all the trim is original. Seats are replaced. The door panels are original and carpet. We're gonna show what's under that frunk. So we've opened up the frunk, and we wanted to show you inside here. Bob, tell me about this master cylinder part of the Copo package. Uh, Yanko Chevrolet, uh, under the Copo program, they put a uh, Cadillac dual master cylinder on it. Um, it was uh, Copo or central office purchase orders, and they had to go to engineering to see if something from another GM product would work on that particular vehicle. So they put this Cadillac system on this one. Beautiful. All right, and we'll uh, show you the rest of the car. And we're back. Bob, show me that, that braking system, too. We'll use that light, and we've got that moment to show that. Show how that, that's unique with the Yanko, how there's this. This car was built for a guy in Oshawa, Canada, and that's why it's red, um, because Canadian colors were red with a white stripe. And he had this, all this special stuff done with a super-duty sway bar and the backing plates are cut out and drilled for venting. What it has is segmented iron brake shoes. So to help cool them, um, that's what they had to do. This is what they had to do. Let's come on back and let's feature the, uh, the back end of the car, the muscular end. And while I'm going here, this is unique too, this chrome piece, right? It usually did not come no, that, through here. No, that's a normal window. What they did was... Uh, Added this piece here. Right. Because this used to be part of the back window. What they did was they put, uh, they wanted to make it classify it with Sports Car Club of America Racing uh, as a two-seater sports car. So they came without the back seat, and then they put this in to kind of uh, make it appear more as a two-seater car. That's one of the ways to tell if it's a, a Yanko Stinger. Clearly, this piece here, when it opens, is not on the usual Corvair as well. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Or the engine compartment, I should say. So an air-cooled six. Horizontally opposed, 164 cubic inches. What's the horsepower on something like this? Originally, there were, it has four carburetors, if you want to look down here. Yeah. And that's the way it originally came. And then Yanko made modifications to the engines and made them either stage one, two, three, four. Which stage is this? This is a, a stage three. What's the highest stage? Uh, four. Four. Okay. There so were, the stage. They, go they, ahead. Tell they, me the there stages. Were two stage engines made that they found and or have documented, and the Goodyear car has one of them. And we don't know where the other one is. Well, we're going to keep this open for a moment. Let's oh, here. To I'm, to identify a Copo car. Yeah. One of the things is they were done on paper as far as options. Normally, right here are the options, the code for all the options. And with a Copo car, it doesn't have it because it's on paper. In other words, this one here has a radio and a front antenna. 
if it was a regular production car, there would be the radio. All that. And then we've got the firing order here, etc. Okay, let's take a look at the interior. We'll keep that open when we fire it. May I? Uh, yeah, it's going to hit the door. We have well, I'm not going to, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go just right there. Here. Yeah, I'll let you do that. I'm going to jump up here, but not in it. There we go. A little clippy on my horn button came off. That's all right. That's the original carpet and door panels. I inside the car. Four speed there. It's kind of interesting the temperature gauge. It starts out at 200, 400, and then 600. Let me see if I can. Perfect. And as you stated, no back seat. And of course, a roll bar. Some had it, some, uh, that was another Yanko option. And we've got the uh, emblem here, the door. You see the tag, the Yanko tag? I think I got it. Perfect. Okay, thank you for letting me know that. Because when you only have this many cars, you, <laughs> you don't know those things. Let me have you, here's our, show me this sway bar too, while we got the tire this way. Look at the size of that sway bar. Holy cow, and that's from Yanko. That was a Yanko option. The Yanko option, where we put our gas in. And let me have you uh, start it. Those are tires I run on when I road race. When, when you road race, so this one gets action. Oh, here, look at this. Okay, show me something. Oh, There's the headers and the exhaust system. And this is all, this is, yeah, uh, these are some headers that were put on it. Got it, but that came from Yanko that way? Uh, they came with cheaper headers. Okay, got it. So you put some different ones on. Got it. All right, this let's, has another thing in it that, show uh, me. the exhaust ports. Let's see, you can see one right here. It has a flange there. Yeah, I see that. And those are called slant port exhaust tubes and that way the header goes all the way up to the exhaust valve. Tell me that wasn't there a different differential on this or something too? Um, Yanko had, he wanted a 389 ring and pinion ratio. Yeah. In 65 and up they did not produce it. So if you look at a GM parts book, the originals it will say, um, it'll give the part number, the ratio 389 and then it'll say Yanko only. Okay. So, Let's uh the six oh uh, half the sixty sixes had three fifty fives, half had three eighty nines, and this one has a three eighty nine. Let's uh fire it up, shall we? Wanna just show this here as well. Corsa. Pretty cool. Maybe there's a different way you can see the tray in the back. Some of them had this. It's actually a uh, start start switch off of... Oh. Go ahead, you can start it back here? Yeah. Oh, do you want the light? Well, no, we, we can start it. Okay.
<laughs> that sounded great. Doesn't sound like a six cylinder, does it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> it sounds pretty potent. Well, Bob, I'm glad I came all the way to the back of the Muscle Car in Corvette National to see the one and only red 66 Yanko Stinger. Thanks so much for having a fun time with me on my car store. This one.